Hello guys, I have a lot better plan right now for our open super intelligence lab. Eventually, we want to make a large language model that is top 10 yield in the world while keeping everything fully open and making everyday videos publishing all of the code. Now, is it possible? I don't know. Is it possible for us to be number one? There is a lot of us to have the best model in the world that would be difficult, especially that these closed companies can just take and then uh, train better models. Nevertheless, uh, we do have a lot better research plan here, research roadmap. By the way, maybe we can have number one best LLM in the world. I'm not saying we cannot, I don't know yet. And if I figure out that we have any chance to have number one best LLM in the world, which we probably do, then I'm gonna start pushing hard for it. And that's probably what's gonna happen. The reason I'm choosing LLMs is because they are currently most useful. So our fully open source research will accelerate everybody. And when we gain experience here, we can expand to more risky uh, AI research that like towards next AGI super intelligence architectures. These are the goals that I set. So a GPT-40 mini level large language model in about four or five months. So top 150 in LM arena, top 50 in a year, top 10 in year and a half. Whether or not we achieve this, uh, what we for sure can is become best researchers, best individual researchers in the world. Uh, we can become most skilled, even if we don't have like compute VC money investment, we can still do that. We can do best research and we can accelerate everybody. And we can work as hard as possible to accelerate AI research, open source and science. I'm going to talk about specific tasks you can do right now that we are doing a bit later. You may skip forward, use the timestamps. I'm going to continue talking about the general goal right now. So my idea is by uh, in four months to have 8 billion parameter model, train this on 15 trillion tokens. And with all of the research we can do, we can for sure reach GPT-40 mini level model. And that would put us top 150. The biggest problem here would be the compute. So we need to actually get around 300,000 hours of uh, age 100 or equivalent. And to do that, we may partner with any of the companies, Nvidia, Hugging Face, Microsoft, whoever, any of these companies, even investors, VC firms. And we can for sure get this research. Main thing that will determine is just how hard we work, how much we improve ourselves, how good research we do. Quality of our research is what will determine if we will get this, we will find it somewhere or not. Another thing we learned from our previous attempt to make a uh, community built LLM is that we didn't have a clear direct goal and we just allowed people to do whatever they want, which resulted is in everybody doing random things, a lot of code being added to the repository. It was a complete mess. So now this repository, $5 LLM is way cleaner. It's way simpler. Maybe it can be even simpler by the way, but it's like three times cleaner. And we have a lot better rules for contributing. So first of all, I created uh, specific issues. If you click any of these issues here, you get a lot of instructions on the issue. And then this is same for every issue, how to set up uh, your work environment. So if you click here, there is already code in some other repository, uh, modded nano GPT speedrun for this issue. We just need to take this code and implement it uh, in our LLM. It's pretty clear. Once you decide, you sit down, you say, I'm going to do something. Then you may even comment, I'm doing this right now. And then you can uh, do this, create a pull request. Even if you cannot test, don't worry. For now, I'm also going to test. Uh, let's see how this works. If people cannot, don't have compute, just uh, do the code and then uh, just tell us on Discord. For example, we already have one successful person successfully contributing. So uh, this person made a Q uh, query key normalization and it trained faster. And that's it. We just added this and now. So that was one of the issues here. If you just go to the repository, click issues. And issues are a general name for tasks. I don't know why it's called issues here. Uh, so you can just pick any, there is a description. And we have baseline and you may run experiment against baseline to compare or uh, you may just uh, submit the code and then I will run for now. As I said, we will still figure that out. You don't need to run it, we will run it anyways. 
and in this file everybody will be uh, credited onto what they did. The current baseline is on a 4090 GPU, so if you go here to configs, you will see that we have this uh, 24 gigabytes GPU. Uh, we also have this 3 billion parameter. For this you need like age 100. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. So for now, uh, I wanna I'm focusing on this one, 24 gigabytes, a bit smaller. But maybe tomorrow or in two days, I will also start uh, creating ba baseline for this one, bigger one as well. If you implement your changes, you can quickly run this uh, debug moe.py just to make sure everything works. This is very small LLM here at the bottom. It's very, very small, just to make sure there is no bugs in the code. It's very important that you write as little code as possible. So whatever you are contributing, remove as much code as possible, because last time everybody was contributing so much code, it was a complete mess. So. I had to delete so much stuff, but now it's a lot cleaner and it still works. I deleted like uh, half of the code and still has same functionality. So some person suggested me, let's add this library for automated testing, let's add that library for that. And uh, we don't want to add anything if we don't have an explicit reason to add something. So uh, you can just create vibe code, a short script if that's gonna solve the problem as opposed to adding libraries because libraries bring uh, dependency issues, complexity, it's difficult to understand and everything. Another important thing, so uh, read, read me carefully. When you start to work, you need to fork uh, the repository. If it's already forked, make sure to pull the latest changes from my repository, sync to your fork, and then from your fork, pull to your a local environment so make sure to do that every couple of hours there will be changes so make sure to do it every four or five hours if you are working at that time or whenever you start working this is our current baseline uh, here in baseline we have the metrics the plots uh, your experiment should beat this one if it doesn't it doesn't matter we will learn uh, if you implement experiments and then they fail you can send it still, we will see if we can make it work, if we cannot, but your implementation is good, we will leave it for future research. I'm gonna make also uh, for future research this file. And you can still include that in your CV, in your resume, that's still research. Our goal with this $5 LLM is to create a structure of how we do this research together and then learn and then do more research open source research and then get compute for the big LLM. We need a lot of compute, but we will get it in a few months. If you go to modded nano GPT, uh, all of these new records, all of these things here, we probably need to implement all of them. There is so much stuff to do. So you don't need to feel lost. There, there is exactly uh, here on this repository what you can do. But if you wanna do something that we did not discuss or we don't have an issue, uh, created, please discuss on Discord uh, first to make sure that you do what we need you to do and what aligns with our goal. I think there is a lot of low hanging fruit, uh, very easy improvements to be made because this LLM is quite new. I coded it, but uh, with a lot of you, you will probably find like many ways to improve it. I wanna show you example of a successfully uh, merged pull request in our repository here. So this was done by Rohan. And if I go here in the code, uh, the code was very simple. Now, this is the only change. Uh, QK norm, where we normalize uh, query and key and this where we initialize it. I don't really recommend making these changes of just formatting, like here. Maybe like some AI made it, I'm not sure, but there is no changes here, it's just formatting. When you fork your repository, make sure to uh, click this sync uh, fork, especially if uh, your repository is behind. Now, when you are creating pull request, uh, merge it into development, not into main, because we need to test it first. So how do you actually test against the baseline? So for you, you will already have uh, the baseline results and then when you make your changes you just train now train on the same config which is the config for 24 gigabyte gpu one that i mentioned earlier 
and yeah, I think you need to vibe code some script or not. Um, yeah, I, I think you don't need to do anything. Maybe once you get the results, if you want to plot them on the same plot, then you may vibe code a script that's going to plot both of them. But other than that, you can just run the train uh, moe.py and then compare the results with this baseline here. Now let me do an experiment. So I'm going to use Novita GPUs. They actually have very cheap H100, the cheapest I know of, if you choose spot. Uh, I'm going to use this one, but you may also use other providers like Salad or they also they have cheap like 1490s. I'm going to set up the SSH. Uh, you may follow my tutorial on my AI research setup. Just search for that. Then I'm going to clone the repository, select the folder which is just going to be default. First thing we want to do is pip install dash r requirements.txt. Uh, it may happen that if you use a cloud, then you may also maybe have to install some other stuff like PyTorch and stuff. You can ask ChatGPT to help you if you get some errors here. The reason I like using a cloud like this is because first of all, I don't have NVIDIA GPU. So this will allow me, allow my agent to directly connect, uh, to run scripts. And as it runs scripts, as it runs, executes uh, scripts in terminal, it will, ru it will run on that NVIDIA GPU. That's why I connect my ID uh, to cloud. As opposed to using it on Google Colab, for example, where you actually need to manually go to uh, push to GitHub, then from GitHub pull to Google Colab, then run there. And the agent is not connected. It cannot just run stuff on Google Colab. Maybe there is a new extension it can, I'm not sure. I got my eyes on this issue, automated automatic mixed precision. Uh, this is actually quite simple to do. So I'm just gonna copy this. And by the way, you can check out this article and uh, find ideas for us. You can also add new ideas and discuss with us what we can try to like do in research and this article has so many, it contains all about other LLMs. So there is a lot of stuff we can add from here. I'll make it very simple. I just told Sonnet to add Torch CUDA AMP. So I just copied what needs to be done. I said first create a branch and after adding uh, run a new experiment to make sure it outperforms the baseline. If you don't have uh, GPUs, then you may not run the experiment. You may just add the code. We'll see later how we deal with this. This is simple, so I can vibe code it. But uh, sometimes you will do research that cannot be just vibe coded. But I will also think about what I'm doing here. And I can always allow it to execute commands because I'm on cloud. I don't allow it, it to execute commands on my private PC. I've seen horror stories of it deleting like whole drives. I want to keep in mind that I want to add as little code as possible. Maybe I should have instructed it as well. So guys, it turns out it was already there. But anyways, this was a good test for me to show you how to do uh, the research. So I'm going to just comment or and close the issue. Anyways, if you go to modded nano GPT, all of these things that are listed here, you can also add. Just make sure to talk to us first. We need to work hard for a few months, then we're going to get more and more compute and we can go towards making the top 100, top 10 or maybe even top one best LLM in the world while keeping it fully open source. Join our school to become AI researcher, link below the video. There are classes, all of these courses where you will learn to build LLMs and transformers and AI from scratch. And you may also engage with the community and create posts and there are uh, lives every week where you can come in and ask questions and get mentorship. Maybe I want to just show how I'm doing this. Some people like just seeing uh, this as well. I'm just vlogging what I do. So here I want to create a baseline against which experiments can be measured. And then we need to have in the readme exact performance. Other people's experiments need to uh, win against. I'm wondering why there are these errors. This doesn't make any sense. But it's good that um, Google's anti-gravity is solving this for me. Some weird errors. Maybe it wasn't saving to disk. So I was working on main and now I decided to create a separate branch 
because one person uh, one guy is working on this as well so i don't want to mess with his code it seems like my 4090 gpu is utilized like 85 percent which is as good as we can hope for maybe we can squeeze a bit more but that's not so important now our goal is not maximum performance but just to do research we'll just compare on this same thing so you would maximize performance if you're building state-of-the-art model and you actually people are going to be using it so you want to maximize performance but for research we will just compare like so it doesn't need to be the best we, we look relatively how much better for the same uh, gpu computer memory i'm trying to test it's running for 500 steps so you should have told it to run just for 50 to see if it's gonna draw the image so i need to wait for too long i want to have image i want to have performance of the base model but i need to first show if there are bugs uh, see if there are bugs so i could have just run this faster and then when i make sure there are no bugs i can run like for maybe 30 minutes to create the baseline but i don't want to run too much time for the baseline because for every experiment we will have to run uh, that same for that same time so maybe 10 minutes it's going pretty well however this seems like too little training because it's decreasing very fast so we need more training here i created this first issue to add query key norm seems pretty easy just add normalization here for query and key just define it and then just pass query and key through the normalization before applying rotary embeddings and all of these other lines are just some movements of the spaces so these are the only actual changes here applying and here adding norm and then i want to test this against uh, base even though i'm certain this will work better but we have to enforce scientific rigor because sometimes it will actually not work better from time to time or it may work a lot better than we expected or a lot worse or we need to understand and we always need to uh, confirm by experiments that's gonna be it for this video and see you in the next one and see you in the discord as well